I dropped my phone in the toilet. That's normal when you're addicted to clonopin. I'm not addicted to clonopin, doctor, but you are. Accusez-vous! <laughs> my cousin's married to an Italian. yoga teacher dumped me. He said I breathed too loud. Well, it's almost four. So maybe it's time to adjust your medication. I'm not on medication. You're not? No. Adderall? Nope. Vicodin? Nope. Half a Xanax before clocking in and the other half after clocking out? Nope. 10 milligrams of Demerol on your birthday? Nothing. Oh, well we're gonna do something about that right now. What are you prescribing? I just told you. Is it even safe to combine all of these together? Of course, this is America. Has it kicked in yet? Do you feel fabulous? Not really. How about now? Are you numb? Have you lost all feeling on your limbs? No. Um, uh, tell me, tell me something. Tell me about your dad. No, oh, horrible. Just a nightmare of a man. This is a waste of time. Just let me know when you see the colors. Uh, maybe medication is not for me. You shut your mouth! I'm not gonna have you disrespect medication in my office. This is a holy place. I have a degree in farm psychology. Pharmacology. Potato, potato. I mean, what's so great about it? I'll tell you, Clonopin got me through my first divorce. I was 19 years old at the time. I'm sorry. That's okay. In the psychiatric community, you're nobody without some degree of failure on your back. But you're happily married now, right? So she thinks. Carol Davies Ethics Award, here I come! Ha! <laughs>